everybody and in today's video I'm going to be showing off seven custom Ninjago minifigures and I'll also be telling you how to make them. So let's get started with Window Cleaner Lloyd from Ninjago Seabound. So this is from, not Seabound, uh, sorry Crystallized. This is at the start of Crystallized when the Ninja team split up after Nia had left and uh, Lloyd becomes a window cleaner for some reason, I'm not sure why he becomes a window cleaner but he does and then this is the minifigure i've made for as you can see it's got some plain green legs and then also it has got um the uh, like kind of like a vest or like uh an apron to stop uh like from getting soaked by the water as you can see on this minifigure and coming around to the side See, he's got a hammer in the back pocket because I did get this uh, from a Lego City minifigure, I believe. I can't remember which one. Probably from a, like of some set, but it's got um, it's got a hammer on the back, which you know doesn't really matter. But then coming around to the front, you've got the just the normal Lloyd face, and that has been topped off with a green cap. Now, if you don't like the look of this minifigure because it's you can see Lloyd's face from the back, you can always remove the cap and just give him uh, the normal Lloyd hair that he's had for a season driver movie now, but I personally believe it looks better with the cap on, like so. You could also um, have the cap, uh, have the hair and uh, like blue tack the cap on, on top, but just needs to get it balanced like this but i just don't think it doesn't balance very well so i just prefer leaving it as the normal hat so i like quite like this custom minifigure i think it looks quite good and decently accurate to the lloyd from crystallized next up we have detective zane now this uh, is quite a very easy custom minifigure to make he's from prime empire when obviously Zane doesn't go into Prime Empire, it's when Zane and Pixel are trying to find Molten Dyer and uh, Zane turns into a detective for some reason. It's a bit of a strange story plot but I think it's quite funny. So the legs and torso are just from a regular um, Lego City criminal but I think the like the waist jack, the waistcoat and the legs kind of work well. I don't think the criminal torso behind, like printing behind the jacket works that well but I mean, I don't think it matters because, you know, it could just be like a striped t-shirt Zane was wearing. Then for his uh, face, I've just got the normal Zane face. Or you could use the hands of time Zane face on him to see uh, what that looks like. That might look a bit better. And then finally, I've just got this uh, like uh, cowboy hat from the gamers market from Prime Empire Ninjago. I just thought that hat looked decently well on it, so I thought that would just do. And as I, I said with Lloyd, you can always just replace his hair piece with... You could always replace his hat piece with his hair piece, but that just looks like Zayn in it, like a criminal suit. So I prefer him with his detective's hat on, like... So, next up, um, I have, I believe, showed this minifigure off in a YouTube short before, but I thought I'd just show him off again in this video, and that is Casual Nelson from uh, Prime Empire. Do I the second Prime Empire figure, not the last? And um, yeah, I think this minifigure is all right. I have given him these dual-molded uh, grey and black legs just because I think... They look quite nice and better than mid legs because mid legs, in my opinion, are a bit annoying because like, I just think they are. They're good for like posing, but for animating and stuff, the mid legs aren't the best, in my opinion, anyway. So, then I've got this casual Lego T City uh, purple torso. I did actually completely make this minifigure from uh, the builder minifigure parts from the Lego shops. So, you yeah, hear it. So, all of these parts can be found in that, at least the one I went to. And then also, um, here's his face print, which has kind of got like a smirk, but I do also have this other face print. If I could just uh, get his headpiece off there. 
I'd also have this other one, which has a, quite a worried expression like this, but then also quite a smiley one as well. So that's a good three different facial expressions that Nelson can have uh, for this custom. And then his hairpiece, it's just this kind of like combed over hair, which I think looks quite good for Nelson. So there, that was my custom Nelson. Now next up is the final Prime Empire custom. I've had this custom minifigure for quite a while now. I've had him built since like 2020. And that is my custom Sushimi. Now, I think this minifigure is decently all right. I've, I found him whilst looking through some old Ninjago figures the other day and I forgot I had him to be honest, but here he is. So he's got these black legs with a bit of red printing on. And also he's got a criminal torso, but with the red arms, just like uh, the real Tsushima minifigure. Coming around to the side, you can see the Prime Empire sword armor piece with uh, the health bar attached to the top like so. Also, he's got this Nexo Knight's headpiece, because I thought that looked quite a bit like Tsushima. Then also he's got this like criminal hat that I got from a Lego City set. And he's also got this knife piece. I think this uh, custom looks quite good. I did use it in my Prime Empire season that I made quite a long time ago. I just thought it worked. And I thought I'd just show it off in this video because, well, I just, just thought I would. So yeah, decent minifigure. I don't think it's the best. I have seen better Tsushima customs, but I just didn't really have the parts for them. So I think this one is fine. Next up, we have Dareth. Who I do believe I showed off in YouTube a long time ago, like about like a few months ago, like six months ago. But yeah, so this custom, I also believe I made this entire minifigure using builder minifigure parts, but that was like in 2019. So yeah, here, here he is. So he's got the the normal like hairpiece that they use for Dareth, and I believe the normal face print as well. So it kind of is a custom because you could probably find these in like Lego City sets as well just around. I've given him this torso, which doesn't really look like Dareth in my opinion, but it's kind of like a, it's like a tan color. And I think, I just think it kind of could look like something Dareth would wear, even though not really. I just, I like the printing, so I thought I'd use it on my Dareth custom. No back printing though, which you know, it's a bit of a shame, but whatever. And also just got some plain brown legs. So this is a decent custom in my opinion. I think it's all right. I do think it does look like Dareth, but that is mainly because of the face and hair. So, next up, we have Young Wu. Now, this is the second to last minifigure I'm showing off. Now, this minifigure technically, like, does use quite a lot. It only uses Ninjago parts, really. It uses um, Legacy Wu's torso and legs. And it does actually use Young Wu's face, but the reason I'm kind of classing it as a custom minifigure because they used it on a few Monkey Kid Citizens and they also, I believe, used it on a minifigure in Ninjago City Gardens. So that's why I'm kind of classing it as like a custom, but yeah, it is very similar to the official one. And I also have given him Young Lloyd's, no, not Young Lloyd's, Lloyd's hairpiece in general because I think it kind of looks like what Wu had. If it was in white, I think it would have been better. But yeah, I do quite like this custom and I do think it looks all right. Now, last, and I did show this off on YouTube shot, I believe last Friday, as the time of me filming this, and that is Karloff, Master of, Master of Metal. Now, Karloff was always one of my favorite Elemental Masters when I, when I first watched the Tournament of Elements. I just thought it was so cool how he had these big metal fists that he could use to like punch people and stuff. And I was quite upset when he got eliminated first in the Tournament of Elements. But then he did also appear in, I believe, Hands of Time and maybe like Sons of Garmadon and Hunted. But yeah, so here he is. And he is a really cool minifigure. I use these cool printed legs. No idea where they're from, but I really like them, so I use them. Also with the Shadow Trooper, um, which is this minifigure here, it's a torso, which because I have two of them, so I just used it on torso and it is like gunmetal but I do think that also mas matches with the fists I've given him which was from the um I believe they're called boa destructors from the um uh, the evo sets from earlier this year because I think the gunmetal grey looks quite a bit better than the silver they gave the official minifigure 
also giving him this black armor piece which is the same one as they give him the real minifigure except for in black and not silver then he does have the normal Karloff face this is another scenario with young like well, young Wu and they used him this face print on like Sons of Garmadon minifigures and also I believe a few Shark Army minifigures from the Ninjago movie so that's why I'm using it on this custom as well and finally the helmet piece that is quite a nice piece obviously in the set i oh, know in the show it doesn't have that bit there but there's not much i can do about it so yeah that is my seven custom ninjago minifigures comment down below which one's your favorite and i'll see you in the next video goodbye